Hello, according to the Mayor Briggs type indicator test, you are ENFP, you're extroverted, intuitive, feeling, and perceiving. And your type constitutes up to 8% of the general population with more women than men or more females than males. You are enthusiastic, idealistic, restless, and open-minded with wide-ranging interests. Because of these traits, you are among the most versatile of all the types, working well with people and ideas. As extroverts, you are not opposed to action. While as intuitives, you are not opposed to reflection. In that sense, you represent a sort of hybrid between introvert and extrovert. Your type, you are novelty seekers. You are constantly scanning for new and interesting people, ideas and possibilities. You enjoy abstract as well as more experiential forms of learning. Why seeking for success in your career and relationships? You generally take life less seriously than other types in your kind of cluster or classification. At the end of the day, ask a person with this type of profile, you always want to have fun and you may not be highly discriminating with regard to how that happens. Perhaps more than anything, you fear boredom and stagnation. Even sleep can seem a bit boring or mundane for you. Your mind can move at a frenetic pace. You can be restless, anxious, and plagued by erratic sleeping patterns. One can even observe the restlessness in your eyes, which are commonly darting broadly from one side to the other as though searching for something in your surrounding. What you're looking for or what you're searching for, however, is more mental in nature, such as words, ideas or possibilities you're constantly generating new ideas associations and quips you can seem random scattered distracted slightly or rightly or not some people misdiagnose you with having attention deficiency disorder what a wonderful personality you have and really i would like to be your friend it's been pretty exciting talking to you about your personality type and next week we're going to go into relationships and how you relate with people around you but before we go i need you to do an exercise it is very important for you to pick 10 adjectives out of all the adjectives in what is describing you both what i told you and what you will find on the side which is your detailed report for this week and once you pick pen and paper write down those 10 adjectives that strike you the most and call friends and family, people who know you very well, who are positive, to actually give you feedback whether these things reflect you. Ask them why do they like relating with you. Ask them why do they enjoy your company or why don't they enjoy your company. Ask them precisely how can you be a better person based on these adjectives. Once they give you that feedback, make sure you write it down, keep it in a manual and make sure you have it to be used for you in the future. I will be discussing extensively, like I said, relationships next week and you don't want to miss it. See you next week. Go and succeed.